Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. In this video, I will show you how to create a scrollable list in Excel. Here I have uh, Census 2001 data for India uh, and its states. So you can see I have a list of 28 states of India along with their area and square kilometer and population. I got this data from the census website and I will use this to show you how to create a scroll bar. So uh, the idea is to have a scroll bar here so that you do not have to go down the entire list again and again. Uh, rather you have a scroll bar where you can just click and uh, view the entire list here itself. Uh, to do this, I'll go to the developer tab and in this go to the insert option. Here you have scroll bar form control option. So you click on this and insert the scroll bar. So this is your scroll bar. Uh, you right click on the scroll bar and select format control. So this opens up the format control dry dialog box. The current value here would be 1. Uh, the minimum value again would be 1. The maximum value would depend on the number of rows of data that you have. So here I have 28 rows of data and I want to display 10 rows at a time. So this would become 28 minus 10. So my maximum value here would be 18. Incremental change is 1 which means that if I click at the tip of the uh, toolbar or the scroll bar, uh, the value would change by 1. And page change is 10 which means that if I click anywhere apart from the tool tips, uh, apart from the tips of the scroll bar, the value would change by 10. I also need to create a cell link. So uh, let me show you how to do this. Press here at any cell where you want to have uh, the cell link and click OK. Now let me show you how this works. So when you click on the scroll bar, so when you click at the tip of the scroll bar, this value changes. Let me shade it so that we don't lose track of it. So we have this value here. Now when I'm clicking at the tip of the scroll bar, the value changes by 1. So the value gets incremented by 1 if I click here and uh, it it gets subtracted by 1 when I click here. If I click anywhere apart from the tips, it gets changed by 10. So you can see it, it's changing by 10. Now the idea is to have a list here which would be dependent on this value. So when I go down, the value should automatically change. So let me show you how to do this. Let me copy paste the data from here and shift the scroll bar so that it fits perfectly here. Now, I would use a formula that would be based on this cell link and gets automatically updated when I use the scroll bar. So in this case, I would show you how to do this using the offset formula. So the way offset formula works is that I first give a cell reference. So in this case, I would give C3 as the cell reference and I tell the formula how many rows or columns do you want me to offset and pick up the value so in case if I say 0 0 0 comma 0 this would return this value state but if in the same formula I tell it to offset it by one row it would pick up Andhra Pradesh if I tell this formula to offset it by two rows, it would pick up Arunachal Pradesh. So this is how offset formula works. Instead of uh, hard coding the row value, I would use the cell link here and I would lock it. So when I click enter, it gives Andhra Pradesh because I the cell reference is C3 and I am telling it to uh, offset it by one value. And when I drag it down, this gives me the entire list. If I go to Arunachal Pradesh and see what happens, I press F2 to get into edit mode and I see that the reference has changed from C3 to C4 as I came down one row and this is fixed so it is referencing, it is offsetting uh, by one. So this is how it works. I can drag this to the right and it would work because uh, my reference cell has changed from C3 to D3. So this is how this entire thing works. Let me give a border to it. 
and you're ready with the scrollable list so you can go and click here and as soon as you click here the value changes based on the cell link value so the value here is 7 which means that the first value that is displayed is the seventh value from the list I can go up and the first value on the Pradesh is reflected here now a lot of people get very uncomfortable using offset formula because it's a volatile formula uh, which means that if you have a huge data set and a lot of formulas and you're using offset it gets refreshed again and again and it might recalculate a lot of formulas which may make your workbook slow so instead of offset you can use another formula which is index in index you have to give it an array of data the row number and the column number from the data where it should pick up the value so in this case let me select the array I select C4 then control shift down and control shift right and then I press F4 to lock the data now in a row number I would give this cell link and lock it so here my row number is 1 in this data set I'm telling that this formula to use this array and give me the first row and the first column data so in, in column number I put in 1 here and let's see what happens it gives me Andhra Pradesh because it uses this data then it takes the row number from here which is 1 so it takes this row and I tell this that the column number is 1 again so it takes this column so first row first column Andhra Pradesh is the value the problem with this formula as of now is that if I drag this down this may not work the reason is that I have hard coded the row value so every time I drag it down it will take one as the row number so every time it would only give me Andhra Pradesh the way around this is to make sure that when I go down a row this gets incremented by one so I would use rows formula here rows would give me what I want I select G4 colon and it completes the formula itself and I lock the first G4 and I close the bracket so here this is telling rows formula uh, that the number of rows from G4 to G4 is 1 when I drag this formula down this is logged this dollar G dollar 4 is locked but G4 changes to G5 and therefore the number of rows becomes 2 and rows formula returns a 2 here when I go down to the third row rows formula return a 3 the only problem is that this is 1 and this again returns a 1 so in my first cell I am getting 2 here so let me show you what happens if I select this and press F9 I'm getting 2 but I don't want here I want 1 so I would simply subtract 1 from here and I would press enter now this would work as a charm if I drag this down you can see this list is working I can apply the same formula for these cells but let me show you how I can just use one formula to do this so instead of having a hard-coded column number I would use columns formula to again create a formula where the columns in number increase when I go to the right of my data so I again use columns G4 is to G4 and I lock G4 and that is it I press enter now I can drag it down and to the right and I have the data if you see here columns G4 is to H4 is Two. so when I press F9 it returns 2 because from G to H there are two columns that this formula is covering similarly here it is G to I which is three columns so now you have another scrollable list formula and this is my personal favorite I use index instead of offset because offset is a volatile formula and it makes me nervous uh, so these are two ways you can use uh, these are two formulas you can use to create a scrollable list that's it in this video I hope you found this useful for more such tips and tricks on Excel visit my website www.trumpexcel.com or subscribe to this channel
Thank you and have a nice day.